So after a few moments, I have been waiting to get to make factory. I have been waiting and making factories and stuff. So now that I'm done with that, for some reason I need a fat cheese, which um, I for some reason I forgot to make at the start of the of the game. But uh, we at this point there isn't really a lot to do because I just need to make a, a navy, and um, yeah, I should also make more troops. Because the the caps on troops is, is quite huge. Like we really to 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 go out of this game, you to spawn a bunch of troops. And who am I against? I'm against um. Okay, um. I ended up messing up a lot of a lot of things, and uh, yeah. But mm, I need to to wait to change um back to. Special specialized infantry, which for some reason I should have done earlier, but I mean, um, actually, it wasn't gonna get a lot of manpower. But I mean, uh, even if I can or not, at least I, I will use this manpower on ships. On ships, but uh, it still hasn't responded, and I see Italy just spawning a bunch of ships. So at this point, I mean, why don't I do the same? Destroyers, and we're gonna make ten of them, and uh, uh, no, a lot of them. We're gonna make destroyers, two submarines, and uh, what I mean for so. Oh yeah, it's probably so Austrian guy is probably gonna die. And at this point, I'm not even sure if I need to make really anything at this point because uh, we have Russia. <laughs> so, I mean, why am I. They won't do any use considering that submarines. Uh, I, I don't really use submarines to, to, to sink troops at all. Like, like uh, I, I really forget to do that actually. Like, I, I'm, no, I mostly like use. Um, because I, I've seen a lot of people just spawn a lot of troops that it's like impossible to stop them with and you know like a, a bunch of submarines and most of the time I don't prepare for that instead I prepare to make them take more losses so they can't uh, retaliate retali retali because then they are just gonna have a, a bunch of, of um, high wide ocean and uh, they, are, they are gonna start to get uh, less manpower and not yeah less manpower and they're also probably gonna get some states independent and a bad economy and yeah but um instead just just uh, sunk in troops is also a good idea because it also makes them lose troops but at, at some point they will be able to catch up to your navy and most of the people on wise nations know actually make ships because before I, I actually like no one make it ships like I knew some people to make it ships on the one when that was worse but they only made things like frigates and just recently you know like around October I saw I saw a lot of people that played as Britain use fucking frigates against um battleships or destroyers which isn't a good idea but it's quite effective against against submarines but i would just recommend using destroyers because that's that's them i don't know i never use frigates uh but i'm i'm starting to use them now because why not in uh total my number needs two more minutes to prepare which doesn't mean anything good for me because um yeah, I, I I won't be I won't be alive in two minutes. Okay, I have I have a plan. Send uh, the troops to Paris to defend against uh, the upcoming um, uh, Italian troops. And if Germany decides to do a funny thing and and um, invade Paris, actually I'm sending in time here because uh, the only way they can pass through here. Is by passing through that part, that part, but they won't do that. I at least I guess, but we don't know. Yeah, they are no alliance, but uh, for some reason they have a parent, they a player, and they are and they are mentioned it to be a player. So that means that you can play as as that country. So that, so that means that the limit of players is quite small, considering that. Wait, what the hell happened to Russia? 
Uh, seems like Rocher left. Okay, we're gonna spawn a lot of troops. And of those, of, of those German troops here, that they weren't even fucking experienced in men to push to out of, uh, to out of that, then I have another plan. What the hell Italy is doing? They're coming with all of their navy. Oh, no, not not all of the navy, just half of the navy. Country, uh, they are of, I have all of my navy here. So I need to take up the advantage actually because uh, both the British navy and the Italian and, and my navy are, are big, together are bigger than, than the German and Italian and Italian navy on, on here at least. And that's because Italy didn't put all of the navy here. And then question that's and then that's not even thirteen of um uh thirteen of navy. So after after spawning a lot of more troops I finally decided to uh, that Germany would soon be invaded and um I mean not now but soon. Oh no, uh, yeah, we're probably... Uh, yeah, that's, that's not, um... That's not so bad, okay? What the hell am I announcing? I'm taking land from... From them, and, uh, So I'm gonna put my troops over here. And I'm gonna put some troops over here in Belgium. And they are really, they are, they are, they are really like are ready to to attack my divisions. Now we'll be focusing on the on my economy. And yeah. So I'm not doing very good, but uh, it, it will be solved soon, I guess. Okay, so now I just need to do forced, forced lab labor and uh, advanced research bureau, and that's gonna help us a lot. Okay, what the hell? I'm I'm a real war with Germany. Meaning, uh, I can finally do the thing. Will it work or not? I'm doing so bad, I guess. Yeah, we won. We want to war. Okay, let's do it. Let's land the French troops over here. Yeah. Germany, Germany lost the. The, uh, the the phone lines. We are being realistic. Germany right now doesn't stand a chance against all of our superior division, and we're only fighting. How many losses are that? The Soviet Union is taking three million losses uh, from from all of that. So I mean, the Soviet Union is doing very great against Austria Hungary, but. Uh, Taking as much losses as possible isn't isn't the point. Okay, stop. Stop, champ. What, what the hell is bombing my troops over here? Yeah, that's that's no entrench, please entrench, entrench. Yeah, it finally entrenched. That's great. Okay, great. Okay, great. Let's do that. Let's do it. Bruh, move, move. Seriously, do anything. Do something. He, he doesn't want to move. My troops are still stuck on over here. Which, that can't be the fault of the lag, considering that. Um, I think that's probably just Royal Nations broken uh, Denmark uh, thing. And yeah. But I mean, if they don't move, then I don't really care. I'm just gonna get more ships. No, more submarines. Oh yeah, he forgot about Italy. Italy is Italy a player, but they aren't doing that much either. 
And the Soviet Union is 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 uh, invading Germany. So I mean, uh, it's not it's, it's usually it's not really gonna be that bad. And we are gonna win now. Okay, let's go. Yes, years of victory. Uh, Germany. Please, please don't lag. If he lags, then I'm probably gonna die. No, I'm not gonna die, but at least I'm gonna just less, less land. And I want all of Germany. No, not all of Germany, but all of Western Germany. Okay, so total that the official losses. We lost way more because of the Soviet Union, and they barely lost anything actually. And what the total losses? And uh, Germany, the Ottoman Empire is losing a lot against. And the only the only front that's reactive is the Ottoman Empire because Ottoman Empire still has a navy, still has a great uh, army, but um, they are, they can't even move. So I mean, they are not winning actually. And it turns out we, we we got a lot of of the borders of modern Germany. Wait, what the hell? Germany has has some troops over here. And turns out uh, they aren't um, they aren't trenching, so it's gonna be annoying. And no, so now we need to deal with uh, with um. With uh, with them, with the Italians, which is what I'm gonna do right now. Tu veux manger du pain, oui. Tu veux pouvoir en manger tous les jours. Du pain et pas de mon Du pain pas de Marchons au pas, marchons au pas, camarades vers notre front. Un front de tous les ouvriers avec nos frères étrangers. I, I, I reach them. So if they do, then I'm dead. Uh, basically, I'm, I'm, I, I, I won't be alive anymore. No, they are going for Paris now. They are going for Paris. No, don't, don't let them, don't let them, take them, take them, we must not let Germany pay us, pass, ah, okay, that's great, we, we did, we finished the mission, Germany's gone, okay, so now, time to put the funny on, on the other ones. Okay, I don't, don't care what uh, what uh, what the Ottomans are about to do, but I have also I also have a plan. So after I finish all of this, I'll uh, I'll go for for um for retaking back the Russian lands. Okay, so no, 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 no. No, they are, they are going for Paris. Oh, okay, we can't let them take that. No, you can't. You won't take that, Germany. No, you won't take that. They won't. Okay, so now let's divide those troops over here. And no, okay, no, don't don't go over here. Don't go over here. No, you do you guys go for for Austria, Hungary, and yeah. Okay, so now I will send them to to my empire, and yeah. And we're gonna establish a colony over over to the empire. But I'm actually, this really looks like the borders of Greater Germany, and but instead, I'm, I, it's not even Germany that, that makes them. But those borders look really great right, in my opinion. Avec 
Okay, so now you need to take um, the Ottoman capital. So yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 